Pocus, my name is Shree Bose, I'm 17 years old and I have the pleasure of joining you today from halfway across the world from the Galapagos Islands where I'm here for 10 days with my older brother Padaki Bose as a part of a National Geographic expedition. Um, so I'm here today to talk to you about science and about a love for learning. So to tell you a little bit about myself, I grew up with my older brother who would uh, come home every day after school and teach me about everything he learned in science class. And it was from him where I really learned to love science and to appreciate the way the world worked and appreciate the way science explained how the world works. Um, I've been doing science fairs since I was really little, from uh, creating blue spinach to developing a, a, uh, a remote controlled garbage can for handicapped people. And in eighth grade, I actually developed a new eco-friendly material um, out of two waste streams. But for my most recent project, when I was 15, my grandfather passed away of cancer and I decided I wanted to go into cancer research. So I started emailing professors in my area, found a mentor willing to work with me, and did a project on drug resistance in ovarian cancer. In a nutshell, my project was about figuring out how cancer cells become resistant to chemotherapy drugs. So what we found was pretty interesting. We found that this one protein in the cell called AMP kinase had some huge importance in how ovarian cancer cells become resistant to this drug called cisplatin. And it's not only important for future chemotherapy improvements because we can uh, actually make resistant patients respond again, but it's also important to future research because we can uh, figure out exactly what that protein is doing. So with this project, I entered into the Google Global Science Fair. This was the first year they did it. It was completely online. I entered my project in by creating a website. I was chosen as one of the top 15 finalists, which was incredible. Got to go to Mountain View, get judged by a panel of really incredible judges, and I was chosen as the grand prize winner. And as a part of that prize, is uh, I'm actually here in the Galapagos as a uh, as a prize of that Google Global Science Fair. So um, my journey hasn't been my journey alone. I've I have so many people to thank for how I've gotten here for the people who've instilled a passion in me, my parents, my brother, my teachers. But one person who's especially important and who developed my passion at a very early age, who made me love science, was my older brother, Pinocchi. And that's who I have the honor of sharing this video with today. So I will let him explain to you the most recent project that we've worked on together. And um, he will tell you a little bit about how his love for science has developed in me. Hi TEDx Lakas, I'm Shri's older brother Pinaki Bose and a student of chemistry and biochemistry at the University of Texas at Arlington. Recently I worked with Shri on a project about tuberculosis which is a bacterial infection that affects about a third of the world's population today either in its active or its latent form. Now tuberculosis can usually be managed or treated by a regimen of antibiotics but uh, poor management of these drugs has led to the development of drug resistance. The earliest documented case being MDR-TB or multi-drug resistance and followed by XDR-TB and most recently totally drug resistant TB or TDR-TB. TDR-TB is generally exceedingly rare, but in January of 2012, 12 patients were found in a single hospital in Mumbai carrying TDR-TB. This is alarming because India has always been a hotbed for tuberculosis spread and TDR-TB has no known treatment yet. So, Sri and I decided to carry out an investigation to see how would totally drug-resistant tuberculosis spread through India and throughout the world in the coming several years. Our simulations show that at its peak, several hundred million people may be infected, and the peak of the epidemic seems to fall around somewhere between 2030 and 2040. Surprisingly, Europe seems to be the first place to be dramatically affected, mostly due to its interconnectedness and uh, heavy immigration between the countries. Of course, this is unless we do something to stop the spread right away. So in the coming 10 or so years, we will need plenty of new doctors, scientists, and engineers to coordinate the coordinator attack against tuberculosis. My focus has always been not just on doing science, uh, doing biochemical research, and then this kind of um, this kind of dynamics research, but also in inspiring the next generation of scientists and uh, engineers. 
So working with my sister has been great in that regard. I've had her as a captive audience for several years now. But recently I had two other students that I was mentoring in their science, uh, science projects, which they submitted to the Fort Worth Regional Science and Engineering Fair, our local science fair, where they uh, won several awards and will be competing in state in a few weeks. So I hope that through my own research and through the mentoring and the work that I do in inspiring other people, I can leave the world a better place than I found it. Thank you.